one. So when you're going to perform an autoabsorption, it is important to be aware of patient history because it will determine the type of absorption you will be performing. Uh, first, the uh, serum uh, is removed and the red cells are washed multiple times with saline. And then the red cells are treated uh, with enzymes to dissociate those attached antibodies. So you can see that the antibodies are going into solution and the red cells are going um, down in the bottom of the tube. Now, if you're going to be performing um, an autoabsorption, this is when you'll be looking at patient history and saying, okay, my patient has not been transfused in the last three months, so therefore I can incubate my patient's red cells with their own serum. That's what the term autoabsorption means. So the red cells are, are washed uh, to remove the reagent, and then serum is added back in and incubated with these red cells. The autoantibodies will attach the red cells, leaving these um, underlying aloes in the serum, as you can see here. Um, but if your patient has been transfused in the last three months, a differential or allogeneic absorption um, must be performed. And this is because there might be you know, um, donor uh, circulating red cells um, still in your patient's system. So if that's the case, uh, these red cells, they're phenotypically typed. They're usually um, R1, R1, R2, R2, and RR. Um, again, your patient's serum is incubated with these um, specific uh, allogeneic um, phenotypically typed red cells. And you can see that the um, autoantibodies are attaching. You know, But just as a note, if your... Um, if your underlying alloantibody um, is specific for one of the um, antigens that is on one of these phenotypically typed red cells, so let's say that R1, R1 um, has you know, um, a JKA and your underlying alloantibody is a JKA, well then those um, aloes are going to attach to the red cells as well. This is why it's important to have your um, red cells you know, fully typed and be different from each other. Um, that way, at least one tube or two tubes will have that, um, that uh, alloantibody um, into solution. Um, so I hope that this uh, animation has helped. Um, you guys just have to be aware of um, how absorptions um, work and when to use um, an autoabsorption or a differential alloabsorption. Thanks.